welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to basically be doing my hair, doing some skin, well not face skincare, but some body skincare for the winter. I really wanted to walk you guys through the products that I use on my hair because I get tons of questions from you guys regarding stuff that I use post shower. I'm excited to show you guys how I blow dry my hair as well because um, I know I do like Instagram, TikTok type reels. I don't even know what they're called. The reels, I do a lot of like Instagram reels where I'm blowing out my hair, but a lot of you guys want me to like slow it down and kind of walk you guys through how I use my air wrap and everything like that. So I'm going to be sharing everything from all the products, how I blow out my hair and everything like that. So if you guys want to see how I blow this mane out, then just keep on watching. Like that, I literally just got out of the shower. Um, I have my Aquas hair towel on. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use. Hopefully my boob doesn't pop out, fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, so I have had this on for a while. I love the Aquas hair towel because it's a microfiber towel. So not only is it very lightweight, it's not like pulling my hair. I basically washed my hair today. I usually wash my hair about once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, and honestly, I like to leave this on for a good like 15 to 20 minutes. I usually like to wash my hair on days where I'm not going to be super, super, super slammed and busy just because washing your hair is such a process. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. So this is my hair all washed and ready to go. I honestly try so many different shampoos and conditioners. I don't even want to show you how many products I have in my bath my bathroom um, in terms of stuff I use in the shower. You okay, buddy? So I have a bunch of products that I use in the shower and today I actually used an Orbe um, shampoo. I'll put a picture of it here. And then I used the Gizu um, hair conditioner. I forget what it's called, but I'll put it here too. I need to drink some coffee. Okay, so first off, what I like to do is I take some sort of um, detangler because I have a lot of hair now, especially with my extensions. This is like almost done. It's the Biolage All-in-One Coconut Infusion Multi-Benefit Spray. And honestly, everything I've tried from Biolage, I love. I'm gonna definitely be picking up another bottle of this because it's just really reliable. And you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know my daughter has like the craziest tangly hair, which we're trying to manage the best we can, but this product has been truly a lifesaver. So if you have tangly hair, this is great. So I'm just going to shake it and spray it all throughout my hair. And what I really like about the product is that you can layer other products with it because it's so lightweight. So I'm just gonna brush out my hair. This brush I recently got in my Revolve Beauty like package. This brush is probably the best detangling brush. Honestly, it's better than the wet brush in my opinion um, because it just detangles so well. And a lot of um, brushes that I have used, they always get like stuck in my extensions. And this like just, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't grab onto them, but it's able to detangle really well. And I even use this brush also on my daughter. So I'm really excited about it. As you guys know, extensions are not cheap and you wanna take care of the hair as best as you can. Um, and I just feel like other brushes, like if they're snagging my extensions, I just feel like they're ruining them. So I'm really glad I found a great brush. Okay, so I'm just going to do a middle part like usual. I part my hair down the middle. Um, I usually try to get it perfect, but it's so hard. Okay, hang on, my forehead's turning red because I'm scraping it. Okay, here we go. Now we're in business. The next product I use now that my hair is detangled, I just use the Olaplex Bond Smoother. This is a leave-in reparative styling cream. And this is actually really, like you don't need a lot of it. I have not experienced what is happening right here. What is this hair? I have like these baby hairs growing in because I've been taking like hair supplements and just tons of vitamins. So my hair is just, I swear it's like growing like weeds. Anyway, so the next product I use now that my hair 
is detangled is the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. So this acts as like a leave-in conditioner, um, but this product will literally make your hair so soft. Especially with my extensions, I wanna make sure those are continuously staying hydrated because obviously, do you guys see this hair right here? What is, this is like new hair. I have no idea where this came from. So this is just really great. Makes your hair super smooth. If you have like fine hair like me, you definitely wanna use this sparingly because if you do use too much, it can weigh on the hair really heavy. You can just feel it once your hair is dry. So I like to use just like a little bit of it. Just like a pea size amount. Like you don't want a ton of it. And then I'm just gonna rub this the ends of my hair a little bit at the top, but I really just like focus it right here and then just kind of do a little, take any excess and just like put it at the top and the fringe of my hair, my face framing pieces. I don't like to use a ton of products on my hair. I used to literally put like seven different products in my hair. And I just feel like sometimes it's better to just kind of keep it simple, especially, I know I keep saying it, but with my extensions, I just really don't wanna F them up. So I'm really just trying to do my best. In terms of post, you know, shower, I just use those two products and that's pretty much it. Um, so my hair is pretty much like, I would say like 60, 70% dry. I don't know if you guys can see, you can tell it's still a little damp, but you do not wanna use your air wrap while it is, while your hair is wet. If you've been following me for a while, I used to use that Revlon big um, blow dryer and I used to swear by it. I even got it for my mom for Christmas and I did a whole video on it, but I will say that that Revlon blow dryer, it literally gets so hot that I feel like it's like burning my hair. It just felt like my hair was just too hot and especially with fine hair, it's really easy to just damage your hair. So I stopped using that and I literally just solely rely on the air wrap to dry my hair because the air wrap uses less heat and I honestly feel like it's contributed to really having my hair feel healthier and look healthier, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So what I do is I'm gonna just section my hair off um, and I just go right above the ears, straight back, and then I will clip this. Um, and I usually will do this in like two or three sections. It just really depends. I'm gonna use this attachment. Um, they have another one that's for more coarse, thicker hair, but this one is perfect for like fine to medium hair. So I am just going to turn it on and I'm going to show you guys how I blow it out. So the first section is done. I wish you guys could touch my hair because it's so soft and just like so smooth. I love days when I get to do my hair even though it takes, I feel like forever, it's a whole process, but in the end, like, ugh, hair is so soft. So next I'm gonna do another section and I usually will go from like my temple right here all around from the top just to kind of get the crown of the hair so this is going to be this is going to be like face framing pieces i'm going to show you guys how i use one other attachment gosh i have so much hair by the way these clips are the most amazing things ever i got them off of amazon like a pack of like eight or something there were just so many different colors i will use this attachment which is the round brush attachment and this will really just like grab everything that you need in terms of like baby hairs or any of those like fickle pieces that kind of are a little bit more, um, you know, annoying to try to get and like just smaller. But I definitely like to dry this part first when I start to get up here because this is where like my baby hairs are. I'm gonna do this side first so you guys can see how I do like the baby hairs.
So that is dried and um, because the little baby pieces tend to dry really quickly, um, that's why I like to do this part first. So that's what I do for that part. And what I'm gonna use this again once we get to the top part to do like my face framing pieces. But I'm gonna take this off now and I'm gonna attach the other one back on. And I'm gonna do the rest of my hair. Okay, <laughs> so we are almost there. I'm actually gonna move my hair that I've already done to the back. And then I take the pieces that I still need to do and I just kind of pull them to the front like this. <laughs> It's so stupid. I'm gonna brush this out and I'm definitely gonna start with the fringe because as you can see, everything's starting to like dry. So we wanna get in there before it dries. Otherwise, you're gonna have to like dampen it to really smooth it, smooth it out. I'm gonna do my fringe. And the way I do my fringe is I will kind of take the hair like this the front pieces here. And then I'm going to kind of go from the top and pull forward and up. And then I'll go underneath the hair as well. And I'll just kind of go back and forth over and over again. And you'll see that it starts to create this really pretty like wispy effect. Do you see how it's starting to kind of like um, in so cute. So I'm gonna keep doing like this section of my hair and then finish it up. Oh, okay. I went in with the colder setting and just kind of ran the brush piece through the back of my head, the ends of my hair. I'm gonna brush my hair out one last time. Uh, my hair is a little still hot. I'll show you the back so you guys can see how it looks. So now that my hair is like completely blown out. I'm going to put a little hydration on my body because my skin is so dry, but I am gonna apply some lip balm before because my lips are so dry. By the way, I reach for this all the time. And mine's like the peppermint pout one. I think it's from the holidays maybe, I don't know. Usually you guys know I rave about this combination all the time, the body serum and the body <laughs> body lotion by Necessaire is like my ultimate fave. I actually gave away five of this set on my Instagram recently. I like to always mention these products whenever I get an email that they're doing like a promo code because they don't really go on sale very often. And I know that everyone just like, it's just very curious about these products, but they're really good. But today, instead of doing that combination, and um, by the way, I'll leave my discount code that you, you guys can use. I think it's only valid to like Sunday. So I would definitely use it before you can anymore. Um, but I did get this product in yesterday and I'm so excited. It's the Summer Fridays Summer Skin Nourishing Body Lotion. It's so good, you guys. It smells truly like I need to be on a beach. It makes me really sad. I need to have, like, have my toes buried in some like white sand. It truly just smells like a vacation. It's hard to explain. So I'm actually gonna mix these two together. So I'm gonna just pull my sleeve leave up like that. Here we go. So I'm going to take the body serum and I'm going to do about like a pump and a half for each arm. And then I'm going to take like a big gall gallop dollop of the Summer Fridays. I'm loving this combination together because it's like extra hydrating because the Summer Fridays body lotion, it literally just launched, but 
Um, it is extremely hydrating and I love it. So I'm just gonna apply this all over and it's very lightweight. As you can see, that was like a lot of product and it's already like sunk in. It goes into the skin really quickly and it's nice because this combo sinks in fast and so putting clothes on, um, you know, it doesn't like stick to anything either. So that's really nice. This will literally keep your body hydrated for the entire day, this little combo. But I just honestly kind of switched between the Necessaire Body Lotion and the Summer Fridays one lately. So yeah, that's how hydrated, like, do you guys see this? And it's like to the touch, this arm doesn't even feel sticky anymore. I'm also gonna do my legs and my butt and my body. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I don't wanna do it on camera. I mean, I guess I can do my leg, but you guys can't really see. It looks like I'm wearing like a evening gown. Ooh. And I like to really like get my toes too, cause my toes get so dry, it's like weird. Um, so I really get in there with my toesies. Should I like show you guys what I'm doing? Okay, there. I'll show you guys what I do. Oh, this will give like the foot fetish people. There's like some really weird people on the internet that literally will DM me asking me if they can pay me for foot pictures. And that's really weird because I actually despise my feet, not gonna lie. I just think that's really weird. I'm definitely not a foot person. So hydrated, so, so, so hydrated. These two products together right now are so bomb, but you know, I kind of just switch between them often. These three products literally just sit on my vanity in my room because I use them literally every day. So I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. Um, okay, can I just like quickly finish this? We can snuggle later, okay, buddy? If you have any other product recommendations or anything, always leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any questions or anything, I always like respond to you guys in the comments because I just love being able to chat with you guys. Also, you can follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And until next time, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.